say to, to some of our fans earlier that I think one of the greatest franchises in the last 20 years is the Fast and the Furious franchise. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you start trying to throw banana peels and watermelon rinds at me, I like it because it's overly ridiculous. It knows what it is and it, and it delivers. But there's been a new member that's been added to Toretto's team, and it is none other than Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa. So how are we, how are we feeling about that? We're feeling really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Now, listen, I, I was saying earlier before before we were run off the road uh, with our with our stream, um, I'm, I want to hate on Jason Momoa. I do, because for the obvious hater reasons, because he's far more <laughs> handsome than I am. But he's got charisma that's just out of this world, and he commands the screen. And I even have to take him seriously after his performance on Dune. So, I mean, it's my, it's my hate. You know, is it... Can you forgive me for my hate? Is it... Just aspire, aspire to be like him. <laughs> you know, give the guy a shot. Uh, yeah. Uh, Just look into his eyes. You'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for for all of, for all the single ladies out there as well, he is just recently separated from from his his wife. I think he's currently on the market. There's golly, it's a really good way to get your name back out there and kind of like get back on the horse and to jump on one of the one of the biggest money making franchises in cinematic history, being being the Fast and the Furious. Um, but let's let's you know we're over here revering this man. Let's talk about kind of his misses. Yo, like. <laughs> did you watch? Did you watch C? Is anybody? Is anybody in the chat watch C? Anybody here? Did you watch C? No, he did not. No, get C. Look, look. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's got like a a frontier show on Netflix too. I think that's, that's what it is. It's something for him, you know, being stoic and burly. I can't. Stand <laughs> <that>. <laughs> no, no, you aspire. You aspire to be like uh, him. He's so good. Come on. He's, He's so good. No, I, I think it'll be um I think it'll be a good a good idea. Do, can he feel the shoes of the Rock? Because that's that's the real question here, right? You know, you're gonna the, the Rock has pretty much thumbed his nose at the franchise. He's like, I'm never coming back. You guys are jerks to me. So they went and found another really big star. Is that gonna measure? I would say he brings a different energy. I would say be open minded about it right set your expectations where you should for a fast and furious right um <laughs> are there expectations for a fast yeah, and furious right, right, exactly. that's my point that's my point um just enjoy the eye candy for what it's what it is i guess is what i can say about that um i mean at the very least i have to imagine his recruitment was not as awkward as trying to get the rock back on board i don't know if right. you remember that that was weird yeah. Yeah, the Instagram true. post, but uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be a fresh start. You know, like remove the drama, have a good, have a good F ten with the new, new fresh blood. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yo, big yeah. shout out to the chat. Yo, Defunct Twelve, he's always popping in here because he is family. He is a part of our casting crew. He's the one that comes up with these amazing news headlines. Big, huge shout out to you, fam. Uh, and we miss you, man. Can't wait till you get back here. So he's saying, um, will this? He said, will this get Summer onto the Fast and the Furious fandom trailer? Summer is a, one of our other co-hosts, and you know she is a, a Jason Momoa fan, and I am hey. absolutely certain. Who would you prefer, Momoa or The Rock? I mean, visually speaking. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take either. I mean, you know, that's horrible. I'm totally objectifying them and I shouldn't, but. Yeah, it's okay. That's, I mean, they, they walk around with their chest out. I mean, working out all day long to be absolute gods as they as they bless our, our cinematic screens. I mean, it's, it's okay. They, they, they know They're not working bad. their way up to getting an Oscar. I get it. So that's fine. Speaking yeah. of that, if you had to cast either one of them, into a seriously dramatic movie that needs range. Are you picking Ooh. The Rock or are you picking Jason Momoa? Ooh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Dwayne. Yeah. I gotta pick The Rock. Yeah. I feel like he's got bigger chops. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, like acting chops. Like I think he's yeah. bigger than you know. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Um. I would go with The Rock only because I think he's going to be running for president in like another ten more years. And I would want oh, yeah. him to, I would like to, to put, to say that my film was the one that kind of like spurred his journey into jumping into the White House. 
Um, I mean, he's, he's just too good. Like, did you see, like, his responses? Like, there, okay, so there was a scandal, an internet scandal with Elmo and, and, and a rock that he had beef with because a rock <laughs> yeah. named Rocco was eating his cookies. And he was a pet rock. And the rock, in the rock fashion, I'm talking about, like, uh, Dwayne Johnson, the rock, you know, was like, you know, I don't have any beef with rocks. I love cookies. You know, I like cookies of all kinds. Yeah, like, this dude just knows how to hit the sweet spot every single yeah. time. You, you can't really you can't really box him into a corner. No. Mm. All right, no. Well. He's smart. He's deep. He's got a lot of dimension to him. So I would totally, <laughs> I, I would definitely pick him. 